Hey guys, it's Lori at ArnettDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can draw a really simple hot air balloon vector graphic in Inkscape. Let's get started. We'll go to the Circles and Ellipses tool. We'll press Shift and Control. And with this circle, I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path. We're going to go to the Nodes tool and select this one down here. Select this node. Click on this button up here. Make Selected Nodes Corner. So let's select this node. Press press control and drag it down until it looks like the shape of a balloon. So let's select this and I'll click on the lock icon up here and I'm going to make it 500 pixels. Okay, 500 pixels. So I'm going to press control D to duplicate this. I'm going to turn this one red and this one will be 350 pixels, but we need to turn the lock icon off because we only want the width to change. 3, 5, 0, enter. Let's select them both and center, center. See how that looks. All right. So I'm going to press Control D. And this one will be, let's try 200. And enter. I'll make this blue. Select everything again and vertically and horizontally align. So you can keep doing this and making smaller and smaller pieces as you like. Uh, Let's see here. Let's try 175. 175, enter. And I'll center that vertically, horizontally. Okay, I'm going to go with these colors right here. And in order to separate them, or you could leave it as is actually, but if you wanted to color them differently, you'd have to separate them by dividing them. So let's press Shift, red and, and uh, blue object, path and division. Take the red object, press Shift, path, division, take this red object, press shift, path, division, one, two, three, four, five, okay, put it all back together, let's color it in, these two side pieces, we'll make them blue, I have an extra copy here, so I'm going to get rid of that. All right, everything else looks good. Uh, color that red. Okay, whatever. Um, let's get the rectangle tool. Let's click on this. And I'm going to use this to basically cut the tips off the bottom here because it's not, uh, balloons are kind of like this, this shape here. And I'll square that up. So I'm going to need uh, one, two, three, four, five copies of this, this red rectangle. So control D, control D, six actually, because we're going to need one left over. Okay, so let's select this red object, press shift, select the yellow object, path, difference, press shift, path, and difference, press shift, path, Difference and path. Difference. Where are we? Okay, just the yellow one and path and difference. Okay, this is my last copy. I'm going to shrink it down. And I am going to round it up. It's a preference, I guess. Something like that. Put it about there. And then I'm going to press Control D. I'm going to duplicate it again. And this will be our basket. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and longer. We'll go, actually, I'm going to square it up. I'm going to go path, object to path, and then I'm going to take this node right here, and I'm going to move it in with the arrow key, one, two, and one, two. So 
So it looks more like a basket and I'm going to press shift, select this object and just center it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the pen tool, click on that and we'll click about here and here, press enter. Now I'm going to want that a little bit bigger. So let's go to the stroke style. Let's try five and see how that looks. All right, so I'll go path, stroke to path to finalize it. I'm gonna choose the same red color. I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate it, and then I'll come up here to flip that object. Press Control, and we'll drag it over here, maybe about there. Press Shift to select the other object. We'll group it together, and then I'll press Shift to select the basket, and then I'll just align that. Make sure it's nice and symmetrical. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's how you can create this graphic. I'm just going to I'm going to duplicate this again. Control D. I'll duplicate everything. I'll make sure everything's ungrouped. Everything's ungrouped, and then I'll go path union, and then I'll drop this to the bottom. Uh, this is just going to be a stroke. Um, normally it would be white, as in this this image here. But since we have a white background, actually I'll just make it white. Uh, let's give that a white stroke. I'll give it a black stroke. All right, that's better. So then we'll go path, stroke to path to finalize it. And if you want to put that on a colored background, you can always change the black stroke to white. So. Let's send that to the bottom here, and then I'll grab that black stroke, and I'll turn it white. Okay, so that's how you can do that using Inkscape. If you liked the tutorial, please do hit the like and subscribe button, and thanks for watching.